recorded. So online webinar rules of organizing remote work for employees, for the department, for the company. So we are ready. Uh, so we're ready to start. My name is Andrei Burlutsky and I'm a strategic marketing manager for uh, Smart Business. Um, I'm responsible for marketing itself and I help customer to adopt the new technologies that they that they purchase. Uh, my, my Smart Business is a Microsoft partner and actually we have organized this event because our partner Microsoft has announced globally uh, around worldwide that um, starting from let's say today, but even actually uh, last week, um, Microsoft is uh, providing to its customers around the world, to commercial customers, to government customers, education customer and non-government organization customers, um, opportunity to use uh, for free of charge Office 365 E1 uh, trial version. So that's why you can easily use it together with us so we can provide you with this uh, with the software. In order to do it, you can uh, scan right now on your screen a QR code with which you will, you will automatically go to our website to fill the form after which our manager will connect to you and get the, all the information that potentially can be needed in order to create a free trial uh, Office 365 license for you for six months. Um, as a Microsoft partner, as your uh, partner, we will educate you how to use it. Uh, we will provide you end user readiness uh, online. We will provide you um, resources for education. Uh, in this subscription, you will get application for remote work, tools to make online meetings, call, um, to make online calls, conferences, etc. Also, you will get application on your smartphone like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and also in the web browser. Uh, to use for your employees like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, um, the applications that we're using every day and communicate uh, this content, those documents around the, um, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the project teams, in the teams, in departments and one-on-one. -on -one. Also, you can use the link um, in the middle. So this is direct link to the, uh, to the website which I have put into QR code. So you can select either QR code or the link which you see uh, on the screen. Also, you will get this link on the screen right now from uh, our moderator, uh, Yevgeny, into the chat window. So you can click and make a request and ask any question that you potentially have. So let's move on. Um, it's again a new uh, challenging conditions uh, in which we right now are living. Uh, I know that some countries already starting from the last week moved to the remote work. Uh, in other countries, uh, uh, cities and countries step by step going to the remote work, uh, which is um, recommended by governments, by uh, organizations of health, etc. So it's a time actually when unfortunately we will be very much limited in terms of actions, activities that we have been doing day to day before, uh, let's say last week, let's say. Um, and this is actually not only, you know, the time when our planet, our countries are closed for any communication, any interaction, and actually to do business. We have the time actually also to stop and also think about our businesses. Uh, if, for example, we are able to move, uh, unable to, are not able to move our um, uh, work um, into the remote format, it's a question what kind of business processes we have or we don't have uh, and, the, and which are caused that we cannot organize remote work for the people. But we also need to think about the other thing. But first of all, we have to stop panic because the panic, it's actually very much reduces our health, reduces our immunity. It distorts the way how we perceive the reality. It's also the question, what do we read in social networks? We have to filter to switch on critical thinking when we read a lot of information. Yes, a lot of information is, uh, is, is the truth, which is coming from official resources but also many resources and many a lot of information is actually fake. So please filter it. Please 
keep, keep calm and just monitor what official organizations are saying. Because it also deforms what we are believe in. We transfer this information, this belief to our neighbors, to our relatives, to our beloved people, friends, peers, colleagues, etc. And it also distorts uh, how we make conclusions, dis uh, distorting decision making logic, actually. Um, and I, for that, actually, on the screen, I have a QR code for you where you can where you can, which you can scan the QR code, the opposite of fear, the opposite of fear. This is the article from Corn Ferry Company, which is actually explaining uh, how to behave yourself when all people start panicking, when a lot of uh, unclear things uh, um, around in business, in, um, in the media, in digital channels, in the news, etc. So you can scan it with, using your mobile device on the screen, the QR code, and read this article. But there are also more things to, to talk about. This is actually um, how the, you know, that um, it's pretty uh, old um, sentence that in uh, China, uh, the crisis uh, means uh, opportunity. I know this is like sounds like cliche, but this is not the opportunity maybe right now in during our webinar to talk about the business. But this is for you the moment to stop and think about what you were going to do next when uh, the quarantine will be closed, will be finished. So how quickly and where you can recover, for example, as a company to look in other industries, to look in other your partners. Where will be the biggest demand after the quarantine will be finished? In the financial industry, in uh, FMCG, and actually to look in other companies in your industries, in um, clothes industries, to look at other markets, to see how they, for example, survive, what they are doing, if they are stable, why, and actually take the example and do the same, or at least to understand what others are doing and what you can do as well. And what kind of conclusions we do after all? What kind of solutions we will find during this period when we have time to pause, to think, to look at our business from our side? And what we can take as a conclusion to avoid all that in the future? And how we can become smarter, stronger and confident in the future if something like that will happen again? And the last but not least, how to organize remote work for our the most important assets of the company's employees, departments, and of course, company overall. So as I mentioned before, if you cannot move your business by in, uh, in a few days or a few weeks to the remote working style, it's a question what kind of business processes do not allow you to do it. You have problems or challenges in the processes, uh, and those processes can be like organizational one and also business processes that you have inside what people do every day. But of course, not a single processes can be cause for that. To be remote ready, we have to consider several things. And those several things are people. It's all about... Uh, Technology, of course, it is always about uh, the skills that people have or our teams have in order to be able to work remotely. Uh, and of course, the last but not least, it's a culture and mindset. Culture and mindset that coming um, top down from top managers who demonstrate how they actually um, being a role model uh, for the organization in terms of uh, remote working. And what kind of culture, what kind of communication is built inside the company in order to, you know, to cultivate, to popularize a uh, remote job. So let's talk about those uh, several things uh, more in details. Let me state that this webinar today is like more about how to, like which uh, critical points to consider. Um, it will be kind of checklist that you can use in order to organize the remote work for yourself, for your peers, for your um, uh, direct reports, 
and of course for people around in the company and maybe peers from other company. Um, so people, it's uh, the most challenging piece. When we talk about people, we should think about people in two core contexts. Uh, people as we are, as employees of the company, yes, like myself, and, in, um, and people when we're talking about our employees, when we're talking about our department, uh, our direct reports, or even peers. Um, and first, for the most, what you have to make is to develop a common rules of how you, weigh, uh, how you work remotely. Everyday rules. Like, because the working remotely is not like, mm, mm, it is not about sitting at home from nine to, uh, to six or to communicate to employees that working remotely is from nine to six. Actually not. Uh, it's actually how you communicate during this time, how you set the tasks, how you exchange with the information, uh, what are the rules to make the meetings if you're going to have them, uh, what are the rules, um, how to, you know, what to make at home when you are working remotely, and like, for example, not to spend much time uh, reading uh, Facebook, Instagram, etc. This is like really working and you, you, you should make a several things um, like a rules and send to the employees and uh, discuss with them so they can give you a feedback and give a feedback that they understand what will be the behavior in the next several weeks, days, for example. Um, also, one more thing which uh, I really insist you to do and to spend 5, 10, 15 or 30 minutes every day in the morning having a call with your peers uh, or with your working group, project team, to discuss how they're going. Uh, how, do they have enough tools in order to make remotely? Do they have a good internet connection? Um, uh, do they have any questions, for example, or maybe give a feedback, what do they additionally need? And more, or, moreover, to discuss the goals and tasks for the day, um, for today, what they're going to do, and what they expect as a result at the end of the day. And repeat it every day just for 5, 10, 15 minutes to keep in touch with the people. Because people will feel itself like a little bit isolated. And in order to avoid that, you can use really the technology and be in touch with them like they feel like they, they are in the office. Uh, focus um, mm, the rules that you will be creating are mandatory for everyone. This is like this is like it should be. But if there are, can be exceptions, and please be very human, be very empathic, because there are people who potentially can need some exceptions of the rules. Tell people that if you need something additional or exception, please refer to me or ask me what do you need. This is the very normal things when we're talking about remote working. And create, create atmosphere of, like, of work like you are in the office. Chat with people, uh, ask how they're doing using a chat, using a call. Use smiles, emoji, um, like you're doing in the office. Because when you will see, I'm sitting at home already, uh, working remotely already second week, I already feel myself a little bit isolated. That's why I chat with my team, with my peers, with people from my company asking how they're doing, making short calls, weather calls, because we are very social and you will feel, believe me, you will feel like very much alone and your employees will feel the same. Um, leaders. Leaders have to be more disciplined than ever. You are the role model. You cannot be late for the meetings. You should set the task uh, and communicate directly to your employees. Send the email, explain as much as possible, set the expectations, explain that whenever we're working remotely, the business KPIs still the same. We need to achieve them and that you as a leader expect from to be on the same level of productivity and engagement as it was in the office. Mm. And as a leader, focus and set tasks as clear as possible. Use the tools for that, do it verbally, and of course, do it also in a written form. Me personally, I do the task list for, for myself, for my employees, like in the evening, 
so I be I, so I um, will be ready for tomorrow and can communicate the task for the day which is ahead very much very clear. Ask your employees to spend less time reading news, Facebook, etc. First of all, come back to panic topic. The more they will read, the more they will interpret for themselves things that they want to hear. And of course, it will impact their productivity and this is will impact the uh, how they feel at home, etc. So ask them not to spend that much time on serials as well, he, cinema, etc. But ask them to spend time outside in the evening, in the morning, because sitting at home well, all your, um, your beloved people are at home is a challenge. And also ask people to talk to their relatives, to their uh, neighbors, beloved, that sitting, even sitting at home, working remotely, it's still my job. It's still their job. And everybody should understand that. If, if there is a chance or opportunity to have a separate room for the remote communication to work remotely, this is super. But if not, the beloved people should like understand and uh, really help uh, your employees and yourself to, um, to, work, to organize this space for remote working. And one more thing, this is of course, share the positive experience of, of what does it mean to work uh, remotely. Even to send the pictures in the messenger uh, <clears throat> by email to your peers, showing that this is like not that um, not that challenging, but actually it is. It will be for this a certain period of time. Um, some more things. So if this list of um, this checklist is more for you how to you know organize their work uh, remotely, I also want to propose to you some other things. Uh, for as for the human, first of all, get to bed early. Uh, when you are changing the behavior, working remotely, you like will be pretty exhausting the next day, understanding how things are connected uh, between each other, even where to put the table, how to connect camera, uh, what can dis disturb you during this time. Uh, if I'm visible well, if I'm heard well, how to make other things happen, like um, set the task, check all the emails, do it while you have like maybe children at home or wife or brother, etc., etc. So feel, keep your brain fresh. Go bed early until you will be very much. How hard right to say? You will be very um, You will develop the behavior how to do it remotely. Of course, set up the workplace. Uh, setting up the workplace, it's not only about um, a table and, um, for example, a laptop. It's also about the comfort that you have. It's about the chair that you have, because the chairs itself, they are not at home. They are not created like those which are in the office, comfortable uh, with the right structure, etc. You will be feel a little bit discomfort in your um, in your body. So make the exercise. Um, uh, have a time during the lunch to walk, uh, make mm, uh, make uh, pauses. Yes, uh, what else? Um, make pauses every 30 or uh, 40 minutes or uh, maximum one hour. Use Pomodoro approach to make a pause. Um, do not disturb your schedule. Do not ruin your schedule. If you get up in the morning at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., Continue doing the same, like you are traveling to the work. This will keep you organized. When we are at work, the atmosphere, the conditions, they created in order to keep us in the mood, you know, very focused on work, on what we do every day. But when you start working remotely, you would like, you will have the wish uh, to spend a little bit more time in the bed, etc., cetera, etc., cetera do not give you this freedom. This will be disturbed how you work and this will lack and um, decline your uh, productivity. Plan how you work very carefully. Plan this in the calendar, plan this on the paper, but plan your day, especially plan your um, 
plan your mm, time for uh, to relax. Um, at work, when we are in the company, in the office, sometimes we can skip the lunch. We can skip the rest. When you are at home, I really recommend you to do it, to have the time for one hour, to have the rest when you are tired. Do not sit all the day long because you will be pretty, mm, um, let's say, um, emotionally, uh, you will be a little bit disturbed. And this, is, this will continue for a certain period of time. Uh, take more commitments, take more deadlines. This is again interesting observation on myself. When I'm working at home, I have a lot of people who communicate about what we are doing every day on tasks, on activities. Uh, I call to partners, customers, they come to us, uh, to the meeting room. When I'm at home, I have to actually organize what I'm doing every day. And in order to keep your very focus, take more commitments and more uh, tasks and more deadlines. It will help you to um, not to spread very much yourself, you know, spread the attention to the stuff that is not important, for example. And sp spend time to think about the productivity. Make the conclusion what is going well, what is not going well, etc. The next, the next is a technology. Uh, technology, this is a big part of the remote work. Uh, and this is not a question only to the IT departments. Yes, it's a question also to business departments. What kind of, for example, um, applications or systems do you need for your employees to access in the remote mode? Maybe even using VPN or remote desktop and talk to you IT department, how, what kind of instruction can be developed and communicated to the employees, how to make a remote access to different systems, CRM, ERP, or something very specific. If, do you have any cloud solutions like Microsoft 365 or any other, and do you have um, credentials, every employee has an account and known credentials, how to access the remote uh, environment in Office 365, in Microsoft Teams. Internet connection, this is one more interesting topic. Uh, some people, uh, it can happen that some people do not have a very strong internet connection at home. Please ask people if they have a good, a strong connection at home in the internet in order to be able to connect uh, to the remotely to the systems or make video calls, um, share content, and exchange with a big amount of information using cloud or using email, for example. The one more thing, which is more related to uh, business decision makers, C, uh, CXO of the companies, business owners. Excuse me. Uh, it's actually uh, about the, how secure the access to the uh, to the uh, remote systems and data is so security uh, and secure access to the information is crucial uh, for uh, when we are working remotely. So think about it and organize the connection between home and uh, corporate ecosystem, corporate information, corporate systems in a secure way. Um, Yes, laptops, smartphones, web camera, this is something that you potentially can need. Um, as far as I know, um, as of today, globally, there is out of stock uh, of the laptops because globally companies um, go for the remote and they um, right now has purchased like all the laptops in the world. And this is global out of stock of the laptops. I don't know about the smartphones, but still. And web cameras in order to, you know, like to have a connection with other people. This is something which helps you to keep attention on what you are saying, see what people are doing on the other side, and feel again not very much isolated, I would say. Uh, last but not least, is to be, make sure that support channel is created, like IT team 
or employee support center that they, there are known phone numbers or emails where employees can ask questions. Is something is not working, if they need additional equipment, if they need additional hardware, if they need additional software, or how to use software or how to use hardware. Maybe um, younger employees, uh, they will be very comfortable in using technologies, but the elder employees, absolutely not. Take care about those who need your attention, who has less skills um, for remote working and help them to work remotely by explaining, sending instruction, doing um, uh, such webinars like we have right now, uh, uh, record the video. Uh, you can also upload it into your learning management system, for example, as a special course and assign it to the people so they can learn. Everybody in the company will learn how to work remotely. If you don't have learning management system, you can um, uh, ping me in the chat and we can um, give you some examples what you can use. Yeah, this is like, for example, how my working day looks like in the calendar. But this is not the perfect one. There is no, um, there is no um, time for relax, for example. But I'm using application Pomodoro on my smartphone, uh, which is um, uh, gives a sound when I have to make a break. And this is important. This is really, believe me, I'm see, I'm saying you the things. Um, which are usually not very much described in the uh, online, in the media, in the Facebook, in the article. Most of them, will, which you will read in the internet, will recommend you what kind of tools to use. But actually the conditions, mindset, feeling yourself when you are working remotely are totally different and are more you know, dis disruptive, I would say, uh, than uh, lack of tools that you have. Um, we are using Microsoft Teams uh, for such remote work. This is my hub, how I do and communicate with people every day using chat, schedule meetings, making uh, audio calls or video calls. I can do the same using, for example, smartphone. So if I am, for example, tired, I really can use smartphone sitting down on the sofa, um, on the bed, uh, and for example, making a call. Yes, this is like, for example, it's, it, it, it from one side is benefit, from other side you have to create such behavior and uh, new type of working for you. And collaborate with people. So I put everything together in the project team, in the channel, uh, in the Microsoft Teams, creating channels, um, uploading documents, working together like we do it in the, uh, in the, in the office uh, offline. Also, I have connected uh, a special applications that we are using. For example, Adobe, or Trello, Jira, etc. You potentially can have a lot of special applications that you use in your company. And um, in, um, for example, in Microsoft Teams, in Office 365 E1, that you can get a free of charge for six months. Um, you can add special applications for you to also, for example, Planner to, uh, plan the time of you and your employees. And of course, it should be very much manageable. That's why we also create special conditions, um, for example, for guest access to the Microsoft Teams, to company data and information. What you, I would say, I would recommend you to do like next. In the company, you, uh, for sure, you have kind of business processes that you have and you are uh, in every department in marketing, logistic, customer support, project management, engineering, etc, etc. Write down list of the business processes that mandatory have to be realized in the remote manner. Then together with your team on, on your own, have a look uh, into the uh, into the tasks that should be done in these processes. For example, send information, save file, measure KPIs, find information, um, chat with other people, set and control uh, tasks, uh, etc. And for that, actually, I have created for you the, I have mapped for you the applications 
that can be used in uh, Office 365 E1 for every process and potential everyday task and uh, for individuals. But if for individuals, uh, then we're coming to the next uh, to the next part. We have work that we do at home or at work um, individually, like individual contributor. But there are also processes that has to be done uh, in team, in the project team, etc. So this is also something you have to do in the business scenarios. This one, it's just an example for you, like what kind of business scenarios can be um, can be taken in order to split them into the business tasks. So see which of the business scenarios require teamwork or project work. And for that also, I have created for you a list of potential tasks that you that you or project team will be doing while they're working remotely, like sending instruction again, find information, being able to share the screen, for example, yes, uh, make a record of the video call or record of the presentation. Mm conduct virtual team meetings for 3, 10, pi, 10 5, 11, 12, uh, or even 100 of the, uh, of the people, and how to manage it all together. And again, for your comfort, I have um, created kind of mapping of the uh, processes to tasks and the tools that you can use in uh, Office 365. Organization. Yeah, company itself. Yes, so we're talking about, we have talked with you about employees, um, uh, department or project team, and now organization. The organization in this time, the most important is communication to the employees, top down and down top. For that, companies uh, can use different type of communication, stream their video to any device analyze the behavior of the people in the digital environment. And of course, this is responsibility of the department leaders in order to um, not only to control digital behavior, but also to correct it on the go. So people not become very much overloaded, uh, then uh, exhausted and lose productivity. It's a, a, a streaming the video to the department, to the teams, and of course, get the feedback from the people down to top to understand and keep your hand on pulse of the business and get the feedback in order to make changes, make a correction, change communication, and be always on top of what's going on while people are remotely, but communicate to them directly as well. So I'll put some things that you will be required from skills perspective. First of all, it's to be able to learn to support each other to support each other that everything will be okay. This is like um, for this certain period of time, and we are able to do it together using the tools, uh, use, uh, companies caring about the people, etc. Coordinate, learn how to coordinate your own work, own responsibilities, and work of other people. How they can use different tools. How to um, make, for example, effective online meetings. How to communicate people when you don't see them how to organize work of the department when everyone is sitting separately, how to do it. Create courses for that. This is like a very great thing. We did it in our company in Smart Business. We have developed uh, some of the uh, learning courses for employees we put into our learning management system and assigned to the employees so they can learn what to do while being on the remote. Um, monitor constantly monitor all the processes that's going on and look what can be, you know, optimized uh, in terms of um, uh, operational things, like in marketing, in sales, operation, finance, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, and use those tools that you need right now. Do not use all the tools that are recommended uh, in the media, in the, um, uh, in the articles, in the internet. Like, use what do you need uh, understanding your processes, your everyday tasks, and the collaboration scenarios, whether it's individual, teamwork, or organization-wide. And use video. Yeah, using video, people should not be shy, but again, you should have a good background like I have. You should have uh, like lightning, 
that you don't have, mm, you know, uh, bad light on your face and to look not very, uh, not very beautiful. And culture and mindset. This is something that is coming from uh, top managers to the employees. Yes, it's about creating this, cultivating this culture of mass collaboration. Because this working remotely can, dur the duration of remote work can be for one week, for two weeks, or for three months. That's why, please keep in mind that you have created a culture in the company that you can remote work remotely. Um, and of one more thing, which is critical for me, in your company, you can have people uh, with special needs, uh, which need special conditions. That's why use the software, uh, which is very inclusive. Yes, uh, for the people who has special needs uh, for viewing something or listening something, etc. So like bad health with eyes, with ears, etc. So think about it while you um, make the company and employees working remotely. And working remotely should not be a surprise, you know, uh, when everyone is uh, coming to work and uh, this is like surprise, like everyone has in the background something funny, someone coming in the t-shirt, uh, like yesterday I had a webinar and one lady um, uh, came in the very funny t-shirt, it was a video, I could not switch it off, but it was pretty funny and this is something important when you get people together to discuss something important which is related to the to the work. So it should not be a surprise. Um, and but, last but not least, you know, uh, everything has its beginning and everything has its end. The situation, the conditions, the coronavirus and remote work, um, uh, closed borders, etc. one day it will be ended. And one thing I really cultivate all my life long, it's a optimism. And as of today, being optimist is really like a strategy, like how I'm going to live in these conditions, working remotely together with my family here is with optimism. So please spread it uh, for yourself inside, spread it to your employees, and every, everything will be super well. Um, this is it for, for me, from my side, from right now. Uh, you can ask any questions uh, that you have. Um, yeah, we already have some questions from Lika. So question from Lika, are there any free PDF editing tools Maybe Adobe Professional became free for some period too. I mainly need PDF uh, merging tool, but I prefer this tool to not be online tool. Uh, Lika, actually you can take, uh, you can use, try to use um, uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, you can open PDF in Microsoft Word, then edit it and save again as a PDF file. Just uh, open, um, uh, yeah, just like, uh, just uh, regularly, yes. Open a PDF document th through Microsoft Word. It will be recognized, you can edit it, and then save again as PDF file, okay? Can I combine? Yes, you can open um, first PDF in Word uh, document, then the second PDF and just then copy and paste the uh, information from one to another and you will be able to edit it. There are, can be some um, uncomfortable situation when PDF file, for example, is overloaded with, um, not with tables, etc., but with pictures, picture format. But it usually works very well. I love it very much. This is how I edit PDF file. I convert them uh, to the to the world. Uh, if you will have more questions, you can uh, always ask our representative in Georgia, uh, Georgi Georgi Kofinlu, and he will show you. What do you think about? Okay, second question. Madlobalika, uh, Ria. Um, what do you think about students' distance uh, studying? Which programs will be better for us? How we 
can be stressed or what we can do for this format. Um, so I know there are a lot of tools uh, to use for uh, education. Um, uh, let me uh, tackle, let, let me think what you can use. Uh, I can make you a list of three top of mind that are now discussed in the education community, including Microsoft Teams, because you there is no very best solution for you, uh, for uh, dist distant learning, for education. Uh, but there can be the best solution that meets your requirements. So you will have to check all of them. One of them is Microsoft Teams together with uh, uh, OneNote for uh, education, perfect solution, but it means it, it um, always question how you going, how you would like to set your learning. For example, it can be um, uh, like you uh, give the students just videos so they see the video, video lessons. And then, for example, you have OneNote um, this is part of uh, Office 365 to set the tasks and um, uh, ask the uh, students to complete their homework. So it can be different types of blended learning. So think about how you would like to set the process. I will work with my peers, with my colleague from Georgia to propose to you three options what can be used. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your uh, attention. Uh, we had a lot of people today. This is a very pleasure. Um, Madlo Batako. Uh, it's uh, 1 p.m. as I plan to finish. Uh, I wish you optimism. Please be safe and remember everything will be fine very soon. Thank you very much and uh, goodbye. <laughs>